Hey Eastview, welcome to today's episode of Flash. I'm Kevin. And I'm Anna. Today we will look into a movement special to our generation and how Eastview has chosen to play a role in it. We will take an inside look into the dangers of child abductions and what we can learn from them. Uh, All coming up on The Flash. Stay tuned, Eastview. events, acceptance has spread through the nation and right to the heart of Eastview. Nikki is a star in a school club and person trying to further this acceptance here at Eastview High School. Eastview does a great job in offering clubs to make students not only feel included but welcome. One particular club known as GSA, or the Gay Straight Alliance, has helped one individual establish self-confidence in their identity. As a freshman, I was, you know, a lot more timid and I definitely was not comfortable with who I was at all and I was very unhappy up until about 10th grade when I came out as not only queer but also transgender. GSA has definitely helped me recognize who I am. Even if you aren't in the club, Eastview community can all take a role in promoting acceptance of all students. If you want to be a good ally, you want to learn about what the letters in LGBTQIA actually mean. Ms. Hansen, the advisor of the organization, emphasizes the need for a safe place where students can feel accepted. It's important for kids who are part of the Eastview community to understand that there's just a group of kids like most other students who are trying to understand themselves. If we have more visibility for trans people like me, then other people um, can have the courage to live how they are supposed to live. I was really excited. <laughs> I didn't really want to like jump or anything because I was like, hey, that'd be too much. But it was um, really nice to kind of be noticed like that. <laughs> Signing off for The Flash, this is Nikki. With groups like GSA, people are able to fully be comfortable with who they are. It's, it's great to see such widespread acceptance here at Eastview. It sure is, Kevin. Our next story takes a larger national issue and shows how close to home it can be. Flash reporter Z explores the Jacob Wetterling case. Lately in the news, one story has been popping out more than others, and that's the Jacob Wetterling incident, a story where a young boy was kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and ultimately killed. The whole case was an unsolved murder for 27 years. That is until Danny Heinrich admitted to the heinous crime. Even if the incident happened long ago, some still feel strongly about it. I was eight years old when Jacob was kidnapped. I was in elementary school, and I remember like it was yesterday. Recently, an elementary school in School District 196 released an email going into details about sightings of strange persons lurking around bus stops in attempts to lure them into their vehicles. It's a good community, it's a safe community, but we always need to be vigilant and be aware of potential um, crimes like that. The Apple Valley Police Department does extra work related to the laws that went into effect after Jacob's abduction. However, some parents might not feel the exact same way. Even though I know I'm not supposed to, I'm the one who's looking around, making sure that my kids are safe when they're outside. And it's a different world, or at least it seems to be. And, and, and it scares me because uh, uh, I was alive and teaching during the Jacob Wetterling issue. Uh, and that's very, very real to me. Uh, and so I'm scared uh, and I want to protect my children. And still, I want them to feel as though they can move about safely. So I just don't know. Just because these terrible things happen doesn't mean they can't be prevented. 
proper education and reminding young children to stay safe will help lower the risk. Signing off for The Flash, this is Z. Although we don't always consider ourselves at danger, there's, something, there's always something we can learn from a story like this. On another note, talent can be found anywhere, even in the math classroom. This opera singer can definitely hit a high note. Sasha got the scoop. Come my way, my truth, my life. Most people at East U High School know Mr. Tomlinson as a simple math teacher, but what many don't realize is that he's also a professional singer outside of school. Uh, I've been singing basically my whole life. Um, did it in all the colleges, all the levels of college that I've been at. Not only is Mr. Tomlinson a professional singer, but he's also been professionally directing for quite some time. Ms. Sverin actually uh, introduced me to her church. They needed a uh, director, so that's when I started directing my own choir. Prior to that, I was the assistant director for the South Metro Corral. The main challenge Mr. Tomlinson faces is dealing with his life outside of East and also his career as a math teacher. There were rehearsals uh, during the day. Um, like there were a couple of rehearsals last week for the orchestra. Um, so I had to choose between going to school and going to the rehearsal. Come my way, my truth, my Mr. Tomlinson is a singer at the prestigious orchestra hall. Be sure to ask him when his next performance is. Hope you enjoyed the show. Enjoy your day off tomorrow and be sure to still support your athletic teams this weekend. Hey Kevin, if you were to go get food right now, would you buy me something? Yeah, I probably would. You sure? I think so. Stay tuned for the credits. Oh, I'm hungry. Hey Chris, man, you hungry? Uh, yeah, I'm down. What you thinking? McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's sounds good. That's not my wallet. Uh, I got you, bro. You got me? Yeah. So you got me? Yeah, bro. I got you, man. You got me? Yes, bro. I got you. You were real, bro. Yeah, man. Hey, chill, man. It's, it's just, it's just McDonald's. It's, it's just McDonald's, man. Chill hey, out. Man, you real? All right, bet. Let's go. All right, let's go, bro. Hey, McDonald's. Hey, yeah. Can I get um? Uh, you said you got me though, right? I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. You the plug. Uh, can I please get five number twos, two Big Macs, uh, four piece? Can I get six of those? Uh, three large fries, uh, large drink, because my brother gets thirsty. <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, three <laughs> vanilla large cones. Yeah. Again, what you getting? No, no, no. He, uh, he wants the freest cup of water you got and one small fry. Just just one fry, not not even a little bag, just just one fry. Yeah. Hey, you want, you want some of my Big Mac? Nah, nah you say you good, boy, you good. This is mine. Mm-hmm. Oh. Come my way, my truth, my life. Most people at East High School know Mr. Tomlinson as a simple math teacher. Boy,